Hi, I'm Matt Danzico for Discovery News. Have you ever wondered how far your food travels before it winds up on your plate? Well, if you live in one of the world's larger cities, your fresh vegetables or even pork may no longer come from a few states away, but may soon come from the 30-story building down the block. This is Columbia University professor Dixon de Palmier. De Palmier and his students have developed a concept called vertical farming that aims to grow crops and raise animals inside skyscrapers in city centers. A vertical farm, in our view, is a tall building, transparent, in an urban center that grows our food. The, the vertical farm of the future, which is a 30-story building, would be one which grew out of a, uh, a classroom project that I gave my students after we decided to farm indoors. So uh, I asked them how many stories high and how large a building would you have to build in order to feed 50,000 people a year? And they came back to me and said, it's 30 stories high, and it's a full city block, which is five acres of land. Through hydroponics, a solution-based method of growing crops without soil, and by decreasing the distance between producer and consumer, De Palmier believes vertical farming could significantly reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. He feels this would then, in turn, reduce food costs and lessen pollution. One-fifth of all the fossil fuels used in the United States is used for agriculture, either to plow the fields, to harvest the crops, to store the crops, to refrigerate them or to ship them, or to process them further for value-added things like uh, high fructose corn syrup, etc. So fossil fuels plays a huge role in normal agriculture. It will not play any role whatsoever in urban vertical farming. None. The idea of vertical farming has spread far beyond Columbia University and has now caught the attention of people around the world. And one of those interested is Manhattan Borough President Scott Stringer. We will find a place in New York to do this. I still marvel when people 20 years ago, when developers in New York said, we're going to build a green building with solar energy and co-generation. And there were people who looked at some of these folks and thought they were crazy. But if you really think about what we're dealing with, just like 20 years ago when we talked about green buildings, we now have to talk and bring the green movement into our food supply. Despite how feasible and environmentally friendly vertical farms could be, some producers and consumers are a bit skeptical. Growing things in the skyscraper is just totally unnatural, and, and I just can't imagine anyone being interested in trying it or doing it or having to succeed or buying the produce from the people. I'm kind of, I have a twisted uh, opinion to that because I feel like vertical farming would be good, of course, for global warming and everything that's going on now with the environment. But on the other hand, fresh grown crops out of soil yeah, I, I, I don't know. I would really prefer, I would prefer eating from the farmer's market still, even if they'd have this vertical grown farm. It just doesn't sound appealing to me, really. Whether you find them intriguing or just downright strange, vertical farms may soon be on their way to transform both the way your food is grown as well as your city's skyline. For Discovery News, I'm Matt Danzico.